Okay, we continue the Voronoi uh, settings. Still, uh, I explain object, source. And now we want to explain sorting. Uh, as you can see, it is a MuGraph object. It means you can simply use all of effectors, all of the fields, and combine the power of the Voronoi and all effectors. And for example, you can assign a random or any effector that you want. Select it. Uh, don't forget to select it. If you don't select it, you have to go to the effector, drag, drop effector in this effector tab here. Go to effector. <clears throat> uh, I want to uh, give it a step effector. It means it's the pieces change the uh, parameter of the scaling uh from small to the bigger size so i make them half uh, no smaller as you can see it's turned the pieces to a small and a big by a stepping okay and the sorting is sort the object a smaller object in one side bigger object uh, <clears throat> pieces in another side going to the vernoy and the sorting and as you can see the effector uh, define here you can turn it on or off and you can turn the sorting results on and as you can see it's sorted the small object in one side the bigger object on another side you can <clears throat> invert the sourcing if you want you can sort result by x y or z axis or user define you can define a direction any direction that you want here or interesting part here is the distance to the object it means you can insert the object for example, a null, and then going to the Voronoi and drag and drop a null here. And if you change the null position, as you can see, the sorting of the object is changing by distance to the that object. Interesting. This is all about sorting. You can turn it off and then delete the step. This is unsorting. Detailing, it's very interesting. If you play it, it's exploding. And as you can see, the inside of object are very soft and smooth. If you want to simulate a breakdown, exploding things, you need something more, uh, you, on, uh, more bumping objects, for example, the bricks or anything. Enable detailing. And as you can see, it's if you go to the the grout shading as you can see it's at a lot of <clears throat> object it's like subdividing but not the edges but if you go back as you can see we have uh, all edges and it adds just a little detail inside the objects if you want it you can if you uh, your system is a slow down you can turn the activity viewport the maximum length this is an threshold be careful about this because if you in, uh, increase it we have less detailing or decrease it we have more detailing uh, surface noise uh, you can come back and as you can see in default we have a straight line here you can add a noise on a surface and change the strings of that noise by clicking uh, artifact presentation strings these are all about the fine. And this is the most part. Keep original uh, surface. If you untick that, and as you can see, it's also deforming, deforming the surface of the object. If you tick that, it's just deforming at a detail inside. And if you tick that, untick that, it deform outside also. And again, here is a noise settings. This noise settings is almost a common on a various lesson. These are just, you can change any noise that you want. For example, Voron noise one. You can change the shape of that detailing in any experimental uh, way. You can experiment all of these settings yourself. Noise strength, a, a scale, or you can, of course, add animation. I think, yeah, interesting. You can add an animation on it. That's it. Another interesting thing is connector. You can connector and glue some part of the object together. And it is interesting. Okay, going back to the object. 
make it the bigger to and make it smaller. We need more pieces, so you can go to the source, select it, and add more pieces. Yeah, nice. You can add more pieces here, <clears throat> and that's it. We need a point. Turn them on. Select it to. And then go into the connector and here you can create a fixed connector. This connector is in a dynamic lessons. It's a, a special for that, but you can uh, combine it here. You can split. Something happened, I think. Oh, I forget that it is inside the plane. I have to make the cube and go in upper and then you can break it down okay as you can see all of the pieces are disconnected and they are uh, following independently okay you can connect into each other <clears throat> you can go to the connector add a fixed connector which is a connector here i explain the weight now uh that's it if you relate as you can see some cases some uh, objects are uh some objects you can see go to the object and source yeah uh, some pieces as you can see are connecting to each other you can control it as you can see a connector object will be appear here this is an special for dynamic as you can see we have all the connector but for Vorono we need fix okay or you can use all of them but it's a special for a fix and just uh, focus on this force if a higher number means it can create some uh, connecting object together here <clears throat> if you go to the Vernoy in a connectors you can add a follow for anything here okay if you go with connector in the display you can display the connections here okay uh just need the force don't uh, touch this number it means it can connect if you um decrease this number it's actually does not work in get connect but you can go into the connector and uh weight painting that here first uh, you can select the Voronoi and go into the mograph and mograph uh weight paintbrush you can for example tell the software okay please uh, add this point connect this point together connect this point together and that's it and as you can see a weight map is uh, creating here that you can go to the Voronoi and breaking weight drag it there and as you can see if you play as you can see those pieces that you brush them they're connecting to each other okay this so is just waiting you can or you can click another interesting part is you can add a fall off if you can add a fall off as you can see a fall off will be appear here if you click it go into the field and we can access all of the fields for example you can add a linear if this is a linear if uh, we are in this direction as you can see we don't have any uh, connecting but if the linear object was there in this part we have all the connection settings and as you can see they're connecting okay and if you change the fall off you can take them apart interesting as you can see we don't have we have uh, all the connector and as you can see they are connecting okay if you going to fall off in this section they are taking apart interesting so you can control the strings of the uh Bruno connecting with changing the fall off interesting okay as you can see if the thing is here the connector act there and after you can deconnecting object from each other and controlling the fall off interesting 
delete that. You go into the source and deselect it. Deselect the rating. And gluing, it's a light connector, but the easiest way to gluing and connecting uh, <clears throat> the uh, object of the Voronoi to each other. If you enable it, the first thing is a fall off. It means you can with add a fall off. Click a fall off. You can control which part gluing to other with, a, for example, a linear. Yeah, in linear, as we can see, this part is gluing and make one part. This is a gluing. You can control the gluing part, or you can delete it and add another, for example, spherical. Delete the linear. And in a spherical, as you can see, we have a fall off inside. You can make it a, a zero that uh, it's gluing exactly inside and make it bigger. And as you can see, inside that fall off, all the objects are gluing to each other. Interesting. Okay, you can control the gluing by the fall off. Interesting. Another method for gluing the object is cluster. I love it more because here you can control the step and changing the Voronoi or randomness of them. Another thing is a point distance. It's more complex. You have to define the distance. For example, change the number, the distance. It is a threshold actually. The distance below that number will be glowing. Any number that you assign it. Okay, this is not glowing. Another interesting thing is a transform. You can change the position of the uh, all the Voronoi and here rotation on an object of the Voronoi in any direction and then scale them individually. The effector tab is any effector that you create from a graph effector. And the most important thing, an interesting thing is selecting selection tab, uh, make it a bigger and bring it back. <clears throat> to better seeing that, you're going to object and make it thickness. As, as you can see, you can uh, see the inside of your object. Going to the selection and as you can see, you can select the inside faces. The inside faces tag are here. You can go and, um, for example, create another uh, material and assign it to the Voronoi. It's go all over that. Because uh, it's uh, the, going to the Voronoi, the object, as you can see, this is a color reflection is turned on. You can turn it off to better see that. Now, as you can see, it's go over. But I want to asset this. Uh, color to inside select it tag oh, sorry select a material and a selection tag you can click and direct it i will be explaining the material in a next lesson next series and but as you can see it's selected in inner faces in a selection inside or inside vertex inside vertex map outside faces is nice as this is an another as you can see this is an outside you can assign another color to outside of that for example uh, green as you can see if you click and drag it it's go all over that this is an outside faces this is an outside select that color and see please give it to the outside as you can see the outside faces is green and the inside is red and this is an all about selection if you tick that it's appear here if you untick that it's disappear there okay and the surface brick edge, uh, edge vertex, or any map that you want, you can create from here. Just this is a creation. Time. Okay, this is all about the Vrunoi. Uh, you can uh, practice more, and but we give you a lot of example, nice example about the Vrunoi, and you can practice it and get professional in Vrunoi, and the. Uh, uh, conjunction with uh, the dynamic system in Cinema 4D or a lot of common you can do it. But the most important thing part is the sources that you can control the fraction and the uh, explosion with uh, which source do you want. For example, you can create a spline, add matrix, as many work that you want. Okay.
Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.